Welcome to this BNG CAPS demo on wireline fixed wireless access conversions. Let me guide you first to some history and evolution of BNG. First, we have the traditional BNG with support for 4G and 5G non standalone fixed wireless access. Next, we added this in a CUPS architecture and now we are complementing it with a 5G standalone fixed wireless access using Nokia's multi access gateway controller. The setup has a mix of IPOE, PPP, and private wireline sessions complemented with 4G and 5G fixed wireless access using the 5G service-based architecture. The setup uses open source telemetry tools just to assist in the visualization of the demo. The first dashboard shows the topology with geo-redundant information. The second dashboard includes on the left the UP session distribution and on the right, the address pool status with, on the bottom, the syslog operator warnings. The third dashboard shows the NAT bindings on the ESA server, with its health retrieved directly from the node. I start from a clean setup using a geo-redundant Max-C setup with two user planes UP3 and UP4, and use Spirant Test Center and Spirant Landslide as test tools. You see here the clean dashboards at start. And next, I'll set up a mix of PPP, IPOE, NAT, 4G fixed wireless access, and 5G standalone sessions. We start with 30,000 PPP sessions. On the dashboard, we see that currently Pool 1 allocated 8 ODSA micronets, which corresponds with 46% addresses in use. Next we start 30,000 DHCP sessions, plus 20,000 NAT sessions divided over UP3 and UP4. Then we start traffic and see 1 million net flows per UP. Also show some equivalent data on UP3 itself. Next add the 20,000 4G fixed wireless access sessions. These sessions are load balanced over UP3 and UP4. And finally, I add 40,000 5G standalone fixed wireless access sessions, which are also load balanced over the available UPs. We have now 140,000 stable sessions and I attach, detach each two minutes another 5,000 DHCP sessions. And these extra sessions will trigger an address pool threshold alarm, which I also display on the dashboard. Next, let's focus on some basic session management of a 5G standalone session, showing 5G costs in action. This is a default scenario without dynamic PCC rules and where all data flows are mapped on a default QFI of 9.
Next, we have a session where we retrieve via PCF two dynamic PCC rules as shown on the drawing. These rules create dynamic UP resources resulting in SDF policing and second level QFI shaping. I added a packet mirror where we see the encoded QFIs on the entry interface for the different data flows. Next, at T2, we show a PCF mid session change, removing one of the two dynamic PCC rules and resulting on UP in the removal of dynamic resources. IP flow 2 matches now the default rule on Q1. We can observe the same on the entry interface where the second flow also maps to the default QFI of 9. Next, I add and remove PCC rule 1 every 2 minutes, resulting in traffic loss when flow 1 and flow 2 are mapped to the default queue, represented at even time intervals T2 and T4. At uneven time intervals T1 and T3, there is no traffic loss. For completion, I include a 5G session attached with packet capture, subscriber session data and PCC rule information. After two minutes, we receive PCF mid-session update where PCC rule one is removed. This is also reflected in the session data on the controller, which I display over here. As last, I also added the subscriber statistics on the multi-access gateway controller where you notice the drop packets on Egress Q1. This brings me to the end of this demo, where I listed here the key takeaways. Thanks.